Continuing uh, with some more of our conversations with some of our Wissota Auto Racing competitors, we are with Fargo, North Dakota's Amelia Eisenshank. You and I have really never met. You've worked or you've raced a couple events that I've been at, uh, but I don't think we've ever really spoken to each other. So it's nice to meet you, first of all. Let's let's talk about your racing career. I want to know uh, how you got involved in racing. I know the backstory a little bit, but the people that are going to watch this maybe don't. So kind of give the people at home kind of the, the background on you. Yeah, so I started racing go-karts when I was probably five years old, and uh, my uncle, uh, Donnie Schatz, uh, got us into it, and we got some go-karts for our birthday back then, and we kind of raced all over the country um, doing dirt go-karts and a little bit of pavement indoors, and um, a couple years ago, we just finally had to step up a little bit into the next level and um, grew up sprint car racing, so um, that was our first step uh, in the 305s, and I've been doing a lot of that since, and then I finally got into a late model um, by accident. Uh, we just were having fun one day, and we're like, oh, well, let's go test one. So, and then I fell in love with it, and um, just been trying to hit as many as I can when I'm not sprint car racing. Talk about your career a little bit. Uh, I know that you've won some sprint car races. I've seen you race a late model just a couple times this year. But talk about the background, history. Obviously, uh, Donnie, your uncle, as you mentioned, is a pretty good wealth of knowledge in the sprint car world. He's dabbled in the late models a little bit now, but, but sprint cars for sure. How's that going? Yeah, obviously the sprint car is my main thing right now. Um, it's been going pretty good. We've had some success already. Um, we've been just trying to hit them all, all the racetracks, trying to go to some that the outlaws have the 305s with them and uh, we got some pretty good guys working with us and uh, we got knowledge you know teaching us and um, it's just been fun obviously um, a late model is a little bit harder for me because we don't have all that you know we're not as knowledge with that yet um, so it's a little bit more work and um, I feel like they're a little bit harder to drive and more to learn so um, I'm excited it's uh, it's been fun. Talk about the late model specifically uh, this past year. I heard a rumor this morning that maybe more late model races in your future next year, which is great. But uh, talk about 2023 a little bit. I saw you at the Sites race. I saw you at the Gopher State race in, in uh, Fergus, 100. Handful of races at the end of the year. Getting comfortable. Sprint car and late models definitely drive different, right? You, you alluded to it. But talk to me about the, the difference between those two cars and how quickly you got comfortable in that late model. Yeah, it took me longer to get comfortable in the late model just because it's a lot more like, you know, manpower and... I'm just a little bit smaller than some of those guys. Um, but, yeah, it started off really slow. Um, we learned a lot. Um, you know, towards the end of the year, we really got a lot better. Um, but, yeah, hopefully next year we're pretty good. Um, it took a while for us to learn what, you know, set up everything and just me as a driver learning and um, improving. So towards the end of the year, we got better. We got good at Grand Forks and, you know, took a while at Fergus, but – tricky racetrack um but yeah it's been it's been fun well and you're not you're not racing against nobody's either yeah. right you're racing against really good quality cars at river cities and fergus and wherever certainly in the, in the fall next year give me give me the lowdown i know what i heard here this morning it, what is true and what is not true for your race team next year yeah definitely the competition's high in Wissota, but um yeah my sister layla um she's only hot lapped late models so far but she she has a late model now so both of us uh, plan to hit a lot of Wissota sanctioned events and um, a lot more late model racing, but um, we're still strong on the sprint car side. So um, week, week shows, um, you know, weekends that we don't have big sprint car races going on, we're going to try and hit a lot of late model races. Talk to me about your schedule, and maybe you don't know it yet, but how many races do you anticipate racing? Uh, do you do any kart racing anymore, and where kind of will people see you race next summer? Um, yeah, we're going to start out in um, Arizona in January um, for the thing Shaw or Wissota's putting on. So um, we're, we're excited about that. Um, we're going to hit as many as we can uh, starting in, you know, April, May, whatever rain brings or <laughs> our seasons bring. Um, but, yeah, we're going to hit a lot. Uh, every weekend we're going to try and go wherever we can, um, split up, uh, sprint car, late model, you know, weekends and uh we're gonna we're gonna try and hit them all. <laughs> Your sister gonna race a full full schedule as well? Yeah, she's gonna. We're gonna both race full sprint car schedules and then whatever we can hit for Wasoda and late model racing. So we're gonna start out with the late models though in January. So we're pretty excited. One last thing here, and you can thank your sponsors, and I'll let you get back to it, but talk to me about your uncle a little bit. Obviously, a former Wasota champion. He won the he won the Wasota Sprint Car Championship years and years ago, and that propelled him to a pretty good career, right? He's won a million World of Outlaw races, multiple championships. Just obviously growing up with him, he's a little different to you than, than a regular person as, as you know you grew up with him, but the knowledge he has, Sprint Car specific, lay models as well, but Sprint Car specific, how cool is that to just feed off of a guy that has done so much in his career? 
Yeah, it's definitely um, an awesome thing. He, a lot of people think of him differently than our family. He's actually a really humble person. Um, he'll do whatever he can to help you, and um, it's really cool to have, you know, get taught that knowledge. Um, whenever we do something wrong, he knows, and, you know, he teaches us that we to learn about the cars and because um, good race car drivers got to be able to work on their race cars. So, um, yeah, it's awesome. He's a big help, and, you know, he helps our guys and our crew and everything else, and it, it's a big benefit to our racing program. Yeah, I can't imagine the knowledge he's got. He's, he's, he's forgotten more than we will probably ever know what, what he's done in his career. Thank everybody that helps your team, and uh, anything else you want those people at home to know? Yeah, most importantly, I'd like to thank my family. Um, they're the big part of my racing. My grandma, she's kind of the boss of all of us. So, um, yeah, my family, um, O'Day, Coast, Ellingson, um, you know, J&J, &J, Rocket, um, everyone that kind of helps out on the race cars. Uh, we couldn't thank you guys enough. So uh, we're excited for next year, and uh, we're ready to go racing. We will see her in a sprint car and in a late model in 2024.